Well, it's good to see you. Here we are at uh, Our Lady of Fatima School. Wonderful. Uh, why don't we start with our older students? So, Lizzie? Has there ever been a time in your life when you struggled with your faith? Sure. Definitely. Definitely. And that's when it's really a time of prayer. Really to be a person of prayer, it's important. Uh, and it's also important to, to uh, be in a faith community, which is the other side of it, uh, so that people that do uh, love you and do love Jesus Christ can love us very personally. So that helps a lot uh, in those moments. Um, it's uh, the journey of faith is not a straight shot okay there's a lot of valleys there's a lot of mountain tops there's a lot of moments when everything is really clear and then there's moments when it's not real clear when it's you know you kind of wonder what's going on and uh, those are moments of really being people of prayer very important uh, and then being people that are supported in a faith community. That's why the church is so important. That's why your families are also so very important. And that's why Sacred, our, 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 our Lady of uh, Fatima School and Our Lady of Fatima Parish are so important. So great question. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever like fallen into a deep state of complimentation? Like when you're praying and you just... Good question. So have I fallen into a deep state of contemplation? I would say yes. Yes. And those are really special moments of prayer. Uh, and uh, contemplation meaning really uh, being open to God's love and being open to God's presence in my life. But it's more in, a, in moments of silence. So I'm not saying anything. And, and really, God doesn't have to say anything. It's just one of those moments where we get to be in love with each other without having to say a whole lot. Uh, and those are really special, special uh, moments of prayer. Doesn't happen every time, okay? Uh, and of course, the prayer forms that we're teaching you uh, are all prayer forms that are meant to help you to grow in your relationship with God and to have those moments of silence that happen eventually in your life. So with the Word of God, with the images, with uh, the imagination, and then also even in our, our prayer of intercessory prayer, all those are very special moments that call us into uh, God's love, which is in the end contemplation. So great question. All right, yes, sir. Did you go to college, and if so, um, what did you study? I did. went to college, and I studied philosophy, uh, theology, and I, I specialized in education and religious education. Uh, so I got my degree from the University of St. Thomas in Houston, and that's where my bachelor's degree is from. And then I got uh, two master's degrees, also from the University of St. Thomas. One was in... Uh, uh, religious education or catechesis and then the other was in theology, an MA in theology. And then the Holy Father in making me a bishop has given me an honor degree, honorary doctorate degree in theology. So, great question. Yes, sir? What is your daily routine? Say again? What is your daily routine? What's my daily routine? Well, I usually start off with uh, exercises in the morning and uh, stretches and the like. Uh, and uh, then I have uh, uh, a, a prayer that I pray. Uh, uh, it was written by St. Ignatius, and it's the prayer of kind of giving ourselves to God and giving ourselves to, uh, to Jesus. Um, and then uh, I'll have breakfast and usually do morning prayer uh, and uh, the office of readings that we pray. Uh, so I have some prayer time. Then I go to the office usually, or I have meetings or whatever uh, to, to take care of the church because I'm the chief shepherd of the Diocese of Biloxi. And uh, 
uh, have a lot of wonderful people that I work with and wonderful people I get to share faith with and be a part of. And then eventually ha we'll have uh, mass in the morning usually, and then lunch, and then from there uh, back to the office and have uh, have some more meetings and gatherings trying to direct the church uh, in the Diocese of Biloxi and all the parishes. So we have 43 parishes and have uh, eight missions and 15 schools. And I have 4,000 young people just like you all throughout the entire diocese, which is wonderful. And then we have uh, usually uh, different kinds of meetings uh, in the Depends on the evening uh, with some of the parishes or with some of the schools or some of the diocesan functions. So uh, that's a quick, and then of course evening prayer is in there and then night prayer is in there. So that's a quick summary of a day. Great question, thank you. Yes, sir. Um. I'm thinking of becoming a priest when I'm older. What should I do, or what did you do to become a father as well, a bishop? Ah, great, great question and uh, great prayer. So actually when I was your age, I began to think about uh, uh, becoming a, a priest. And I served Mass, so I recommend that you serve Mass if you get a chance to be an altar server. Uh, and then to, to continue to develop your prayer life and to also continue to develop yourself as a disciple. So we just we talked about that uh, in your class, that uh, to come to know Jesus, to love Jesus, to share his love, to witness, to serve Jesus, and to witness to Jesus. So everything you can do to, to do that, I recommend highly. And uh, I'll be keeping you in prayer as you discern God's will for you. So I entered the seminary when I was 14. 14. So I was in the seminary in high school and college and then graduate school. So we'll keep you in prayer. Good man. Keep going with it. Okay? Yes, sir? What is your favorite part of being a bishop? Coming to visit you is one of my favorite parts. It's <laughs> wonderful. But also being able to celebrate Mass is also wonderful. In fact, guess which school is my favorite school today? Us? Yes! <laughs> Our Lady of Fatima School is my favorite school today. Yay. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. So getting to share the love of Jesus Christ with people is one of my most favorite things to do. And that's part of what we do. Um, so, okay, uh, so, uh, questions for you, unless you'll have more questions that you want to ask. I know each of you prepared one, but yes, ma'am. Um, have you ever had, like, a dream about G God saying something, like, about the future, or just had a dream about God? Um, uh, yeah, often, I think, uh, I have a sense of God's presence and God's hand, both in my life, but also in my life as your bishop. So there's a certain amount of shepherding that happens. And most of the time that happens in prayer. Uh, and a lot of times it happens when I pray the word of God. Uh, and so that's part of what we were talking about today with you, is letting the word of God really touch us. and change us and form us and shape us into the disciples he wants us to be. So great question. Yes, sir? Have you ever have, had like a vision of God? So have I had a, I'll make it even a stronger question, have I had the beatific vision of Jesus? Not in the form that I think some of the saints have, uh, but I have had a very personal uh, experiences of God in my life and especially of Jesus Christ and his mother and one of the things I shared uh, in my my letter to the whole diocese this uh, this particular Gulf Pine Catholic uh, was my sense of uh, my parents standing next to me when I'm celebrating mass 
who are dead. And so we, the hope is and belief is they're with God in heaven. So it's one way for them to say that. And then all the saints that are around us and with Mary, the mother of God. So all of those are very special, special moments of faith. And that happens being a person of prayer and being a person of the Word of God and being a person who uh, loves Jesus in the sacraments, especially in the Mass. So great question. Yes, sir? Do you think you will become a saint? Do I think I'll become a saint? I'm hopeful to be a saint, hopeful to live with God forever. That's what it's really about. Um, but I would definitely say I'm in process, <laughs> definitely. So I don't have it all worked out, don't have it all figured out, don't always do the right thing. Sometimes I'm not correct, sometimes stuff happens. So yeah, so, yeah. great question. So I'm hoping you're going to be a saint, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right? Yep, saint. 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 <laughs> it's unanimous. So there's a calling to be a saint. Wonderful. Any other questions like that? So, if you are being called to be a saint, so what do you think a saint is and does. So what do you think a saint is and does? Yes, sir. Worships God. Yes! So that's a biggie. Worships God. Yes. Is a disciple of Jesus Christ. Yes! That's somebody the disciple of Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Um, they're a person who has devoted their life to helping people and God. So they've been in service of others and service of God. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Pray a lot. Yes, it's somebody that's a person of prayer, so they have a relationship. They're communicating with God. Yes, ma'am. Um, they help people. Yeah. Times of like when they feel down and stuff. So they they help people, and they're with they were with people when people need them, God, and need them to be there for them. So yeah, yes, sir. They help. They help like. They're there to worship God and, and their love and help other people in need. Yep, so they help other people in need and they help others come to, to worship God and know God. Well done. Y'all did great. Well, I appreciate you very much praying for each of you. Let's pray for each other that we can be saints together. And let me give you a blessing. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. We make the sign of the cross, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yay, Our Lady of Fatima. School. Yay. Well done.